right, bro. That's the last of our homework. Thanks for helping me out, Frankie. This Civil War stuff is cool for the stories, but hard to remember. Come on, bro. Every time a new rap song comes out, you have it memorized before the end of the day. Oh, that's easy, homeboy. That's because when I get a fresh track in my brain, the beat takes over my mind. Well, bro, you need to let those books take over your mind. I mean, learning about the Civil War and history on how our country changed to stop slavery is cool. I feel you, bro. But the only thing I'm worried about changing is my playlist from West Coast to a little dirty South. I want to go shoot some hoops, so I got to get focused with some music. You want to come with me? No, I can't, bro. I have to go over to Big Juicy's to help him out. Word. What are you doing over there? I'm helping him out on his computer. He always has trouble bidding on stuff on this online auction site, and he's trying to get some kitchen equipment for his restaurant. So I've been helping him to place bids. All right, my dude. Well, have fun internet shopping. All right, then, Lee. I'll holler at you later. I'm so done with the internet. What's wrong, Big Juicy? These crazy people on the internet are driving me insane, Frankie. What are you talking about, Big Juicy? I just stopped by my house and I looked online. You won the bid. I know. So when I saw one, I sent the guy my phone number like you showed me before to pick up the equipment. Then, when I got a hold of him, he told me my winning bid wasn't enough money for him to give away his equipment. So unless I gave him some more money, he wasn't going to sell it to me. That is all bad. That is so silly when people do that on the internet. That's what I'm talking about, nephew. If you say you're going to do something, then do it. Be about your business and don't try to hustle people. That reminds me of a story we learned in history today about the Civil War. You could be like Josiah Henson. For real? Who is that? Well, during the Civil War, there was a slave named Josiah Henson, who many people said was their real Uncle Tom from that old book, Uncle Tom's Cabin. I remember that book from when I was a kid in school, nephew. Well, Josiah Henson was born a slave, but as he got older, he became a minister. Well, when he was ministering to people, they would pay him money, and he saved up his money to pay for his freedom. But something bad happened, kind of like on the internet with you. He went to his master to pay him off, and he had $350, and the master, that's what he told him. He said, bring me $350, and you can be free. But when he brought him the money, the master tricked him and said, I'm not going to let you and your family go unless you give me $1,000 now, Josiah. That is shady right there, nephew. That's what I'm saying. But Josiah didn't take it lying down. He took his family, and they escaped to freedom using the Underground Railroad and went up to Canada. Later, he helped other slaves on the Underground Railroad and built a camp in Canada for runaway slaves. Now that's what I'm talking about right there. Turning the bad into something good. I'm glad you stopped by, nephew. Even though this guy cheated me, he won't stop me from expanding my business and doing big things. Now that's the big juicy I know. When life hands you lemons, big juicy makes lemonade. Gotta make a dollar out of 15 cent, nephew.